Okay. Nearly a week removed from the decision and the fallout, it continues both here at home and nationally. News Channel 5's John Kosick joins us live from the queue where the LeBron venting continues. John. Uh, I'm telling you, Danita, great lines delivered tonight at the ESPYs in Los Angeles and some great lines delivered here at home as LeBron was both roasted and toasted. As the greatest athletes in sports gathered for the ESPYs tonight on ESPN, the drama of the decision was front and center. Did it really need to be an hour? Look, somebody time me. Ready? Miami. What was that, a second? Joseph Myers ripping into the city. In Cleveland, I feel for you, but are you really surprised he left? Leave is right there in your name. Cleveland. But cheer up, Cleveland. You don't need LeBron James to win a championship. Literally every single team that's ever won a championship has done it without LeBron James. He brought up Dan Gilbert's angry letter. And now the entire league knows if you cross Dan Gilbert, he will not hesitate to use all caps. And he questioned the wisdom of fans burning LeBron jerseys. It's like, I'm going to show that millionaire athlete, I will burn my own clothing. Your move, LeBron. While LeBron was roasted in Los Angeles and Cleveland, he was toasted. This capacity crowd at Great Lakes Brewing Company, no fluke. They're all here to order a pint of quickness. A bitter pale ale brewed special following the King's abdication. We witnessed it in Akron, now we're witnessing it here. The first keg of quickness was tapped at four this afternoon. And the reviews? It's bitter, really bitter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good start. Really, really bitter aftertaste. <laughs> Good start, bad ending. Sounds familiar. Yeah. The limited supply Great Lakes thought would last them until the end of the weekend. They underestimated the need of fans to toast LeBron, shall we say, Cleveland style. We probably won't have it by close tonight. It'll be gone. So we thought it would last us till Saturday, but we are tearing through it right now. And guess what? They didn't even make it to close. They ran out of it by 7 o'clock tonight. Now they're looking into whether or not to make another batch of quitness, a beer that photographer Tommy Livingston pointed out that on the glass leaves no rings. Reporting live at the queue, John Kasich, News Channel 5. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one, John. Thank you very much.